Howdy, 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 my beautiful Scorpio. How are you doing today, darling? So let's get into your weekly tarot reading for September, Scorpio. See what predictions we can make. See what your horoscope is looking like, looking like today, Scorpio. Now be sure when you're consuming your YouTube tarot readings that you look at your sun, moon, rising, as well as your Venus sign, Scorpio, to get the full understanding of what's going on in your life. All right, and let's begin your message here today. You have the Ace of Swords coming forward to you, all right? Honor your thoughts here uh, at this time, Scorpio. I get this sense of where it's like you're either downplaying or it's just, there's this sense of like needing to take action on something that's going on internally for you, all right, Scorpio? When I see this Ace of Swords here, this is like that sense of where it's through your creative ideas, it's through... Uh, something that you are sitting with mentally here and i feel like you need to give this life what is this about what are you sitting on your thoughts about here because if you i see if you were to honor them you know i always say scorpio the ace of swords is like you can't lose right and then you have the chariot card coming in as well all right maybe to like unleash yourself on something knight of cups coming in as well oh all right, so Scorpio, I get a couple, two different messages here. All right, from an internal standpoint, all right, you guys need to take a, you need to take action in regards to whatever it is that you're currently thinking about, whether it's like a specific idea, whether it's like making plans about something, Scorpio. All right, whatever this is that's going on internally for you, it's going to open up the door for some type of opportunity being presented to you, right? That's what that Knight of Cups represents. And then with that Cherry energy as well, it represents the stuff of what where I hear like the word entitlement here, uh, Scorpio. So it's almost as if like by you taking action, you'll finally receive, start really receiving the benefits of something that you're entitled to. All right. Maybe if you start taking action in, let's say like a project, all right, you'll notice a lot of fast forward momentum or fast growth with that, uh, Scorpio. But it does initially require you to take, you know, take that initial step. All right. Now, from a social standpoint, because some of you Scorpios might consume this reading from a more social standpoint, I get this more so of a message here of where it's like this is somebody having some type of desire of coming forward to you scorpio with some type of idea here you might notice someone making their appearance in your life repetitively all right if you go to like a community setting maybe school or something you might notice somebody just constantly making their presence known you're noticing them at the cafeteria the library what have you i get this sense of where it's like someone in your familiar space wanting to come forward to you as that knight of cups right and i get this sense with this cherry energy it's like building up the courage of uh speaking out forward towards you with an idea all right i want to be surprised if someone comes forward to you with an i like a creative idea scorpio this could even be as something as simply as wholesome as with this lover's energy of just companionship all right now i know scorpio you see that lover energy and you're just like darling like i'm not looking for love don't worry scorpio i don't put labels in terms of connect human connections that's y'all's job that's y'all's business all right but what i mean by this here scorpio is that there is like this desire of someone that's already familiar in your space this is definitely someone that you may not know them personally scorpio but there is this sense of like familiarity here where it's like they want to put a name to it. They want to stabilize things here. They want to start building here as well. A really positive message here, especially for those Scorpios that are like maybe taking an idea and taking uh, going forward with an interest, a specific interest. Maybe you've been deciding of like, let's just for simplicity's sake, Scorpio say like you want to do tarot. By you taking action of doing that tarot, that opens up the door of opportunity to come flying into your life there, right? I really want to emphasize Scorpio, that chariot knight of cups energy where it's like really direct movement forward of a lover's energy king of pentacles all right the lover's energy is very complex it does not just mean the lovers it represents all the nuances of your decisions and it's like big decisions that like really change the trajectory of your life and the details around surrounding it here with that king of pentacles all right i'm going to be honest here scorpio if you've been thinking about like an idea of like a business like you know starting like a personal project or a personal side hustle or something like that i think it would really turn over in a beautiful way like if you started out in an etsy store like i feel like the growth would really be on a high upscale portion here all right if you are looking for some type of blessing when it comes to where you invest your energy what you invest your energy into scorpio you know four of pentacles the story writes itself where it's like this is the time of you know it's known as the card of investment scorpio but it also as a tarot reader you sometimes call people out when they're in this four of pentacles energy where it's like 
almost waiting too long for the right uh, for the right moment to uh, do some type of action to do some type of investment it's kind of like that message of being like a sitting duck all right and so you are really getting the biggest blessing as one can get Scorpio in regards to like uh, whatever this idea that you have, all right, you will be really surprised by what resistances will not even exist should you uh, just start taking initial action in regards to this, all right? We're definitely unpacking quite a bit here, Scorpio, all right? So I can just tell, like, just how jam-packed your life is about to be, like, quite honestly. There's just so much I feel like we need to, like, really hone in on. So we're going to acknowledge this energy for its own separate thing, Scorpio. Let's continue on here. Three of Swords coming in here. The Sun card with the Ten of Swords. Okay. Okay. So, Scorpio, what I want you to know is that your struggles, the, the, the journey that you have been on up until this point, it's not being unnoticed, Scorpio. All right. That's the first thing that your spiritual team wants you to know is like your hard work, your commitment, even during the days where you were feeling low about yourself, the very fact that you got up the next day, Scorpio, and still kept going is not going unnoticed. All right. That three of swords right here lets me know that you have been going through the ringer. You've been dealt with some disappointments here. What are the disappointments associated with here? High Priestess is an Empress card. Questioning of yourself, questioning of your self value here, questioning how you perceive situations. All right. What I want to be telling you, Scorpio, is that I do see with whatever disappointment or pain that's happened, there's like this, and it might not be too deep. All right. But I do see like this twinge of where it's just like you might be insecure about who you are, what you represent, what you stand for, like a little bit of an identity crisis or like a quarter life crisis here, Scorpio. What I want you to know is that the disappointments or whatever that happened in the past, because again, it's not my business, darling Scorpio, right? But whatever happened in the past, that does not define who you are. That does not make your entire identity all right and so i really want to be nipping this in the butt immediately scorpio where it's like it wouldn't surprise me if some type of social connection did cause this type of impact on you maybe like a family member maybe like a long-term friendship coming to an end here i do feel like there was some type of a blow to the ego that gave you like this weird sense of like like <sighs> Almost as if like you're not worth as much. But the thing about it is, Scorpio, I split the deck in two different uh, portions here, just so you're aware about my process here. And the back of the deck for both were the cups, all right? The ace and page of cups. You'll notice here, Scorpio, where it's like there's this consistent social aspect coming in, all right? The cups can represent opportunities, but it also represents your emotions. And so page of cups represents quite literally new people or new opportunity entering your life. Ace of cups talks about new love, all right? And it's just, in its own, in its own way, uh, <laughs> Scorpio, these two cards, when they're paired to one another here, is like a direct confirmation of having some type of strong social connection coming forward to you because continuing off from the back of the deck from these again you have the death card and the world card coming in here something came to an end you had to put an end to some type of relationship maybe this is like a job or situation but i do see for many of you guys this sense of where and the weird thing about it is, Scorpio, I don't know if there was like initially even communication. This is just like my own intuition with this here. It's like you needed to put an end to a chapter of your life with somebody. And by finally removing that blockage, because it's almost that sense of where you by having some person relevant in your life, uh, Scorpio, by having like this energy from your past relevant, it was as if you were unable to close the book fully and begin a new chapter of your life right that's why you have the world card coming in the world card is the final card in the major arcana representing the closure of cycles to begin a new story right scorpio and maybe that's been like the healing journey that you've been on for a while it's like needing to heal the wounds of what happened in the past scorpio that caused those 10 swords uh, to be in your back, right? That caused for you to lose a little bit of a, a view of the world of like that wholesome bit, right? I kind of feel like I'm speaking to Scorpios right now where it's like, you're starting to be a little bit more and more cynical, Scorpio, about how people are, that everyone's the same or something like that because of that previous disappointment here. And I'm not trying to downplay it here, but it does feel like spirit's going to be challenging you here, where it's like by you finally able to heal from whatever happened, the scars of the past here, all right, it's by 
finally putting a closing chapter to that it's now allowing you to begin a new story for yourself Scorpio that's what I feel so passionate about is that I feel like your story is your new story is just a finally about to begin whatever was happening in the past there that it's like for months now perhaps Scorpio you feel as if you haven't been able to fully move on there's always like something that would complicate things you might start out your week really strong but by the end of it you might be in like the same mental struggles internal struggles that because of you're trying to unpack and digest whatever happened here right Scorpio and spirit is seeing this and they are definitely sending towards you somebody who will really help you not feel as alone in this world here i feel like this energy that's coming in scorpio is someone that is definitely very sure of themselves again i'm not putting a label on what type of connection this could be mentor this could be friendship this could be real i don't it's, it's not my business all right but this is what spirit is sending forward to you i feel like is the very opposite of what you had to deal with in the past that reminded you of that um previous thing previous situation so for example scorpio if your last job consistently made it so you felt as if you had to like beg for hours or like you never had time off granted for you this uh, this next opportunity coming in if we're going to see all this energy as opportunity this next opportunity coming in is the very opposite of that type of problem that is no longer reminiscent of what you had from that past there all right where you have that job that is able to give you that maternity leave that sick leave that paternity you know you get that type of example and if this is about a relationship which or just you know relationship in whatever sense scorpio this is like this person coming in is someone that speaks their truth this is not someone that you have to worry about how they come off as or like what they actually mean like this is someone who is very unapologetically themselves this is someone that exudes a lot of substance uh like uh be uh beneath them here that's what i'm trying to like express here is like they're very deep here all right it's not surface level here i don't feel like this is someone that's really interested in gossip or anything like that this is the type of person's like let's like what are we going to build together what are we going to create how are we going to further ourselves right you even have the four of wands afterwards scorpio which represents again that sense of your life trajectory all right the four of wands only shows up in your life scorpio when you're on your right path and you'll notice well yes this card represents marriage all right and i'm not going to lean into that it just ultimately at its core scorpio represents being on your life's path with the people that you were meant to be with that were going to be by your side for the thick of it does that make sense and that's what this next connection that's what this next situation is coming in is something that's going to be part of this new chapter for you scorpio that is vastly different from the life that you had lived led up until this point all right you even have the eight of wands coming in with the two of wands stepping forward as well all right i see unexpected travel i see for you where it's like the world is starting to become your oyster things are starting to open up possibilities of things that you never really considered beforehand start opening up for you through that cup energy whether whether, whether that comes in through the shape of a person or an opportunity all right you're definitely going to be getting out of the stagnation that you feel as if that you have been in but it's not even been stagnation it's just you having to unpack and heal from all these wounds essentially here all these wounds and you find Finally have figured that out so give yourself some grace in that scorpio what you have accomplished up until this point is not something that is easy to do and something that everyone can do so let's get start getting into your oracle cards here all right you have the full moon which is surrendering to the divine and the cardinal moon be bold and make the first move be surrendering to the divine and be bold and make the first move it's very interesting here because you have the moon card and then shortly afterwards is the two of cups here still continuing on just from the back of the deck um here it's the sense of like for you scorpio i get this hmm I'm going to be honest here. I feel like you guys need to make a bold uh, decision, Scorpio, in regards to putting yourself out there. All right. I see for you, Scorpio, where it's like you get greatly rewarded by doing something that you normally wouldn't do. Approach somebody that you normally wouldn't approach. And from whatever that connection begins, it could be something that blossoms into something beautiful in a companionship way 
Or for others, you Scorpio, it's like by depending on who it is you reach out to, it's like a sense of like the best decision that you made for yourself for your for your career. Does that make sense? Because I feel like you would. It's like this is like a message here, Scorpio, where it's like, hey, darling, trust in us. Trust in us that we will help you through the door. You just have to start the walk, all right? And they will take care of the rest. But you have to be the one to get it started, right? Notice this theme here, Scorpio, throughout your entire reading that it's been about this needing of action, right? So your other moon oracle card is the new moon in Cancer. You and your loved ones are safe. You and your loved ones are safe. It's interesting because I want to just more so focus this on just about you, Scorpio. All right. And I know for many of you, you might be like, girl, why do you want to like leave out our loved ones here? But the thing about it is I feel like this goes together, Scorpio, because it's like, hey, don't be so afraid of taking that risk. You are safe. Just be bold at this time stop worrying about the logistics stop overthinking over analyzing things because you're just doing the paralysis by over analysis scorpio just trust in your spiritual team trust in whatever it is you believe in to keep you protected and uplift you at this time because that's all you need is just to take the action they will not let you fall all right they will not let you fall let's continue on with the moon uh not moon uh with an animal oracle set as well all right, tortoise card, you're too fragmented, so do whatever it takes you need to do to get grounded. As I already said, Scorpio, full transparency, I feel like you already have been doing that up until this point, all right? Maybe some of you guys are still picking picking up the final pieces here, practicing shape-shifting by altering your physical mannerisms and appearance, all right? This is what I... I'm, girl <laughs> anyway scorpio this is what i was getting right this sense of a transformation for you something's going to be extremely different here scorpio but i feel like it's only very different because you finally wrapped up whatever was going on from the past that you needed to figure out right and then the polar bear card standing up for yourself speak your truth respectfully and compassionately without the any attachment to the outcome speaking your truth more not really caring about how you're coming off as to certain people because you already have learned scorpio through you having to pick up the pieces of your fragmented self you've learned that people are going to receive you in whatever way that they want to receive you in and all you can really do is present yourself in whatever way that you are looking all right and stop really worrying about an outcome a specific outcome that you want to happen because again i kind of want to lean into this message of just trusting your spiritual team more uh scorpio because they will get you to the outcome that you want ultimately or the results that you want and just might not be in the way that you are thinking those details will look like going into my different moon oracle deck we have thinking it through new moon in gemini be real and go deeper new moon in scorpio all right very deep cards here all definitely representing some sense of a transformation scorpio all right you know what you need to do now all right you know the steps that you need to be taking here you know at this point in time i feel like for you scorpio the steps that you're going to be taking in the coming days are steps forward towards finding your more authentic self of what the 22 2022 september of september version of you looks like scorpio because i feel like it's vastly different from august 2022 scorpio does that make sense and your season's coming here darling trust and believe scorpio so it's definitely in a perfect timing for you so i love you so much scorpio hopefully this reading resonated check out the top right hand corner of your screen for the monthly pick a card reading for september and i'll connect with you later bye darling